My name is Kyle. I am the web designer for Kirksville Web Design. It's kind of a micro local web design company or well, just single business that I have created. And well, I'm just starting here on the Google page. And I kind of want to give a walk through just the beginning of how to just start your Google site. Google Sites is an application that Google has released along with uh, Google Docs, uh, Gmail, and basically let's just start here in the Google homepage. Uh, I usually just log in using my Gmail account. Uh, you'll know if you have a Google account that it kind of gives you access to everything. It's your one single access point. I go to email here. Uh, don't send me all sorts of emails to <laughs> my email. Uh, anyways, so I go to my mail and then I go to sites. Or you can just go to sites.google.com. That'll bring up the same thing and you'll, you'll log in there. But anyway, these are all the sites that I've created thus far uh, with Kirksville Web Design. Uh, some of them are uh, ones that people have paid for, some of them are ones that I've made for friends. Some of, some of them are still in, in the works. Uh, but I've been, I've had some decent uh, uh, success, so uh, making Google sites and making them look somewhat professional, which can be somewhat of a struggle. But anyways, I'm just going to make a create a new site, and I don't like using any of these templates because they're basically for noobs. I mean, they're they're so you can get started and give you ideas, but I I already have the ideas, so I don't. I don't need to mooch off other people. I'm going to name my site, I don't know, uh, what can I call it? I don't know, I've been playing StarCraft 2 a lot, so I'll call it StarCraft 2 website. Yeah, that's really original. Okay, and then you get to choose, oh, this is, this is your, your URL, sorry, for uh, your website. Uh, take note, that this uh, this URL, no one's ever gonna find your website. Just making it, you have to make a, uh, create a domain or buy, buy a domain for it to show up on any search. So don't uh, fall into some false uh, thinking that this is gonna get you anywhere uh, on Google or something. Anyways, so you have all these templates, and a lot of them are are the same except for blank slate. Blank slate is very important because it allows for transparency, uh, using transparency to see the background of your website. I don't think any of the other ones do that, so definitely always choose blank slate and go with it. You can change it to it later if you accidentally do something else. Uh, more options. I don't really ever mess with this yet, just because... I come up with a description later. I usually make it open to everyone, though no one's going to find it, like I said. I don't do any mature contents. So that's all right, too. Let's see if I can manage to... Uh, I think it's Unateg. Unateg. Ah, that's not available, so I have to add something to it. Uh, StarCraft 2 websites. Uh, Zerg. I don't know. <laughs> I'm sorry if you don't know what uh, StarCraft. This might not make any sense to you. But anyways, Blah Polo. That's Unateg to Blah Polo. I got it going here. Creating my site, you can see. And it's just giving you stark white to work with. Uh, and then basically, this is, you know, this is the beginning. This is your website. Um, I usually just start off going to Manage Site. And kind of bring everything down to the default, down to the bare bones, to site settings, to general. I don't like to show my site name because I'm going to make a custom header later. You'll see that in another video. Um, so I always click that off. Um, none of this other stuff really makes uh, a difference. So I just save changes there. Um, Alright, and then I move down to <coughs> site layout. Um, let's see if there's anything here that I really need to address. Navigation sidebar. Really, 
everyone's going to be doing the horizontal navigation now, so I just fall. I'm going to take that away because uh, the horizontal navigation is available. Uh, I click that on while I'm here. This is a good time to pick your site width. This makes an impact on a lot of your graphics, making your graphics, and kind of you want to go with a standard width around. Uh, you know, 800 would be like the low end. You can make it as high as, I don't know, 1400, I suppose. I'd rather go with 1200. Uh, just so, you know, people with normal screens, you know, not the widescreen, will be accommodated by that. I'm just going to go with the nice 1000. That's what I typically do. It looks really, looks really fine, so. Um, I always work with pixels, just because that makes sense with graphics later. You'll don't use percentage. I I haven't really messed with that. Headers. I typically make them. You can make them from you know. F I say you can start with 50 to like 250 if you wanted to make a big header. But I'm gonna try something around 100 just to kind of keep a little bit smaller than usual. All right, and you know that's really the beginning. Oh, let's save save changes. Save changes. Very good. Uh, that just kind of gives me the starting point uh, to make my website. So I'm going to go there, you know, I just kind of walked you through creating the website. Next time we'll get into editing pages and working with graphics and also working with like navigation and stuff. Though I already have a video about that. Anyways, or maybe I put that on my other YouTube account. I'm going to make a new YouTube account for this whole thing, so... Uh, I'll catch you guys next time. Uh, tune in, please. Thanks. Bye.